This is one on one session with the Forum IS founder and director Ayush Sinha. In this session, students are asked questions to test their preparedness for the personality test. One on one sessions are not mock panel sessions. Let us just have a few questions, Archita. Is oh. that good? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Archita, can you briefly tell me about yourself? Okay. So, uh, I am Archita. I was born in Patiala, but uh, brought up in Delhi. I have done my bachelor's in engineering, uh, computer engineering, from Netaji Subhash Institute of Technology, NSIT. Post that, I have worked as a software engineer with Microsoft for a year and a half. Since 2019, I've been preparing for UPSC. Archita, so you worked with Microsoft for some time and you're a computer science engineer. Yeah. Um, I hear these terms a lot, blockchain and cryptocurrency. I'm not from a technology background. Can you tell me in simple terms, what is this blockchain technology? Uh, so, so the blockchain technology is an open distributed ledger. Uh, which will record all transactions or all uh, kinds of communication uh, through a distributed ledger uh, and it is anonymous. Uh, so this is a blockchain technology. I can help, I, I can explain with an example. Uh, whenever a new transaction occurs, uh, there's a consensus protocol which will validate the transaction. Once it is validated, the, the, new, tra uh, the new transaction or node is added to the previous ledger. So this is how blockchain technology works. All right, Achita, so <clears throat> if it is open, is it not insecure? Uh, it's open, but it's cryptographically secured. So uh, no change can be made to the blockchain or to the ledger unless it's cryptographically uh, in, uh, authenticated. Archita, what is the current legal position of the government on cryptocurrency? Uh, so in the latest budget, the government has come up with two proposals. One, the RBI will have a digital currency. So it will be uh, from the RBI uh, that the currency will come. And the second is uh, the government is going to tax crypto assets for at 30%. So has the government been willing to give uh, to these Bitcoin and other places? Does it, Is the government allowing their trade or is the government giving it a legal status? Uh, I believe that the government is recognizing uh, the boom in the cryptogra uh, cryptocurrency industry. However, uh, apart from the taxation, there isn't a clear regulatory policy. So you are from Punjab. Yeah. What are the major challenges before Punjab as a state today? Uh, so uh, there are numerous challenges that I can think of. First, economically, there was a time when Punjab was the highest uh, earning state. However, today it's the 16th uh, in terms of the PCI. So uh, one is uh, the economical issues with the state. The second is the need to diversify from agriculture and curb the deindustrialization in areas such as Mandi, Mandi Gobindkar. Uh, talking about socially, the drug abuse among the youth is a big, chal uh, is a big challenge. And uh, so politically, there were also issues of sacrilege and communal disharmony very recently that we observed in 2021. OK, with respect to the communal disharmony and sacrilege, is that a challenge or is that an isolated event? Or is it, is it a statewide phenomenon? Uh, so I see it as, a, as, a, uh, uh, as some events that have occurred. However, uh, the demands to criminalize sacrilege and have uh, strict punishments for that is a challenge that I see. Ashita, so Punjab is demanding for Chandigarh. Yes, sir. On what grounds is Punjab demanding Chandigarh? So, so this is a recent controversy that has come up uh, once the union government has amended the service rules. So according to the new uh, rules, the employees in Chandigarh will follow the central rules and not the Punjab cadre rules. So this is the bone of contention between uh, Punjab and the union. 
and for these reasons uh, punjab has laid a claim to chandigarh what is your opinion should should chandigarh be given to punjab uh, since i was uh, i belong to punjab but i currently live in haryana i think both the two, both of these states have uh, an equal claim to chandigarh and uh, since both the states share chandigarh as the capital city i think the status quo of chandigarh being a union territory is the best arrangement you opted for indian foreign service as your first preference yes sir what is what is the motivation behind this uh sir so when i was 15 i represented my school in germany for a model united nations and i got a first hand taste of diplomacy and how international organizations work uh, also when i was working at microsoft i worked and collaborated with teams across the world so uh, i was fascinated by the ch- the different cultures that i experienced while talking to them and i think uh, my technical expertise i can use that to uh, augment india's foreign policy there are six principles which the external affairs minister has enunciated as being the principles uh, you know behind india's policy on the ukraine issue yes. can you tell what are the six principles uh so i don't remember all of them but uh, one is of course india's the uh, uh india's uh, national interest uh, then uh, it also mentions about uh, uh, in india exercising strategic autonomy and how uh, our first goal was to evacuate citizens uh, so this is all i can remember i am aware that he did mention the six principles in the parliament but i am unable to recall all of them right now what is vinyasa yoga i have heard of different this is the first time i'm hearing vinyasa yoga what is it can you tell me more about it uh, yes sir so so vinyasa yoga is a form of yoga which is uh, which essentially weaves different asanas into a single flow or posture uh, the focus is on gracefully exiting one posture or asana and moving on to another with rhythmic breathing which we call ujjayi breathing what is the last indian contemporary non fiction book you have read uh so so very recently i read this book called india versus uk by a former permanent representative to the united nations mr sayed khurdeen what does the book say tell me few things which you found remarkable about the book or something that you came across which fascinated you uh so so this book essentially talks about india's elections to the international court of justice uh what struck me in this book was that uh, the first the confidence that we we can see in india's foreign policy uh the author mentions how we actually uh, contested three simultaneous elections and we were the last entry into the icj elections and yet we not only won the seat but we also uh, could uh, could win the seat by the uh, by defeating uk which is a permanent member and has been having a seat at the icj since the beginning so, so this this How was he able to defeat the uk in these elections uh so sir there's an interesting story behind it uh first uh, the author mentions how he collaborated among the whole team collaborated uh interestingly there was also a computer scientist there who worked on data he took out data analyzed previous elections uh, then we lobbied with other delegates from other countries and uh, after collaborating pre- uh, and using and exercising diplomacy we were able to garner more, more votes than the united kingdom's delegate archita what is the meaning of your name uh, sir it means to be worshiped it comes from archana which means uh, to worship worship or prayer So what was the motivation of your parents when they gave you this name so i believe uh, in our culture people uh, especially parents they tend to uh, see god in their offspring so i think uh, and the girl connection maybe that is why they named me as as an epitome of goddess maybe one last question archita our policy in ukraine is being criticized as deviating from a our moral ideal position if you were a diplomat who had a say in deciding and designing such a policy would you have tried to influence the government's current position on the ukraine issue 
so i believe as we discussed earlier also our policy is based on six principles and i think india's stand on the ukraine issue is being determined by india's national interests uh, having said that india does believe in morals and principles and uh, the way we have given humanitarian aid to ukraine we have exported tons of wheat for example uh, that stands as a testimony to the beliefs in morals of india and we have been time again uh, reiterating our belief in dialogue over any kind of coercion or force would you influence or not influence the government policy so in my personal opinion i am satisfied with what india is doing right now so i wouldn't want to influence it all right archita your interview is over <clears throat> thank you sir very happy archita it was in my opinion uh, you are well prepared you have the calmness composure and the poise that is needed very much needed i think that uh, i have very mild maybe a few suggestions for you but i think you are um, in my opinion you are ready for the interview